The Home Assistant Voice Preview Edition has been out for a few months now, but one of the most requested features that was missing at launch was that there was no way to easily play music on it with a streaming service like Spotify and start playing music on your Voice PE straight from the Spotify app. Well, thanks to a really cool update with Music Assistant, you can now do that. And so today I want to take you through how to set up Music, music Assistant and how to set up Spotify Connect to get the most out of your Voice PE and really any Home Assistant connected speaker. Super quick recap, if you don't know and you're just getting started with Home Assistant, this is the Home Assistant Voice Preview Edition, which is the local smart speaker made by Home Assistant to let you use local voice commands with your smart home with a focus on privacy. And you can even add AI quite easily to this to make it quite powerful in your smart home and do loads of different complex things whilst only being $59. And one great feature that it has is this 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which allows you to take this and plug it into a more powerful speaker like a home hi-fi setup, since the built-in speaker isn't really suitable for listening to proper audio, which means that you can take your awesome speakers that you already own and turn them into a privacy first smart speaker and now with Music Assistant that I'm about to show you, it really adds a much needed feature to the Voice PE. If you're interested in picking up one of these, I'll have it linked down in the description. Okay, so what is Music Assistant? Well, it's an add-on and an integration for Home Assistant that was started by Marcel, who now works for Home Assistant. And it's essentially made to really elevate Home Assistant's music playing capabilities to media players, since that is a very important aspect of many smart homes. It adds features like natively combining many different music sources into one central place, metadata support, crossfade, volume normalization, playback sync, and so many other powerful features. If you're looking to up your music capabilities in Home Assistant, then Music Assistant is definitely a must. So we're gonna go ahead and get Music Assistant installed. And first we are going to head over to settings and then add on store and then add an add on and then scroll down and find the Music Assistant add-on and hit install. You'll probably want to make sure Watchdog and Show in Sidebar are enabled, and then you can go ahead and hit start. Wait a couple seconds and then you can hit Music Assistant over in the sidebar to open the Music Assistant dashboard. When you open up Music Assistant's UI, it's gonna drop you into the settings page first, and this is where we can add a few different providers which are split out into four categories. Music providers, which as it sounds, it's your music sources or places that provide music to you. And you can see that the most popular of services are supported. So Apple Music, Deezer, Jellyfin, Plex, Spotify, Tidal, YouTube Music, and a bunch of others are all supported in there. Then you have player providers, which is how Music Assistant communicates with your speakers. So AirPlay, Chromecast, Home Assistant, Sonos, and others are all in here. And so you can see it's not just for Home Assistant speakers, you can actually integrate with others too. And then you have your metadata providers, which are how it retrieves metadata for your library. And finally, plugin providers, which are used to kind of extend the base functionality of Music Assistant. So what we're gonna do is to add the Home Assistant integration first. And to do that, we simply need to head over to Home Assistant settings, devices, and hit add on the discovered Music Assistant integration, and then hit submit. You'll see that there is no devices or entities in here at the moment, but that will change later. Let's head back into Music Assistant and then back into settings. And what we need to do now is to set up Music Assistant so that we can get access to its media players, which will include our Voice PE, as well as any other speakers that we have inside of Home Assistant. To do that, we're gonna add a plugin provider and then select Home Assistant and then hit Save, which is now gonna let us connect Music Assistant to Home Assistant. Now we can hit Add Player Provider 
And remember, this is how we add media players to Music Assistant, and we're going to select Home Assistant from the drop down list. Now, when you do this, you will see a little drop down that lets you select which media players you want to bring in from Home Assistant and make available to Music Assistant. So select all of the speakers or the media players that you want to include inside of Music Assistant, including your voice PE, and then hit save. Now, do remember that if you add a new speaker to Home Assistant in the future, you'll need to come back into this page here and make sure to tick the box to enable the speaker in the list before it will show up in Music Assistant. You'll notice that if you now click on the little speaker icon down in the player bar, which is how you select your active speaker, that all of the media players are now showing up in the list. But of course, we don't have anything to play on these speakers just yet because we haven't added some music. So let's fix that by adding some providers. Let's head back over to settings and then press add music provider. And I'm going to be selecting Spotify for this video but you can add a different one and follow through the steps if you are using something else. Now, adding is actually really simple. It's great. You just need to press the authenticate button here in the center, and that's going to open up a new tab to Spotify where you will need to log in if you are not already. Then just press agree to allow Music Assistant to use your Spotify account. And once that's done, it's going to take you back to Music Assistant and tell you that it's authenticated. All you need to do is press save and now Music Assistant is going to start syncing your Spotify library and you can see when it's doing that with this sync logo up in the top right hand corner. You can also head over to the home tab and you can start seeing music start populating here as it's syncing. You'll see all your different tracks, artists and albums. Now we've got all the basics set up, let's take a quick look at the UI and how to use it. So on the home page, we just kind of have a dashboard with the players up at the top and then random songs, artists, and albums that we can start playing from the homepage. Then down on the very bottom, we find our main navigation buttons to let us browse music by artists or albums. And we also have playlists, audiobooks, and podcasts all available on this bar here. Then right above that is the player bar, which lets you control your currently active speaker. So media controls, shuffle, volume, and so on. You also have these two little buttons here, which let you change the active speaker you are controlling, as we showed before. And this other one is to let you view the cue for the active speaker to see what's coming up and what was also just played. Let's go ahead and just make sure things are working by changing our active speaker to the Home Assistant Voice PE and just pick a track at random and it should start playing on the Voice PE within just a couple of seconds. Great, so it's all set up, but this isn't always a convenient way to play music, especially if you have other members in your household who want to use the Spotify app. And a lot of you will actually want to be able to use the Spotify app on your phone or the desktop app to play music straight to the voice PE, which wasn't always possible until recently. And actually, if you go into the Spotify app at this stage, your voice PE won't show up in the device list, and that's because we need to do one little step to enable this to show up. Head back over to the settings tab and then click on plugin providers and press Spotify connect, which is the special sauce that makes Spotify able to play on the voice PE. On this page, all we need to do is select the voice PE from the dropdown. And you'll actually notice that on this page, you can't select multiple devices all at the same time. You can only select a single device. But that doesn't mean that you can only have a single device set up with Spotify. You just need to add an instance for each speaker you want to use. And I'll show you that in just a second. Hit save and then that's basically it. If you want to wait a couple seconds and then open up the Spotify devices menu once again inside of the app, your device should now be in there with the name Spotify Connect. Now the default name might not be that intuitive, especially if you have quite a few devices. So if you head back into the Spotify Connect plugin, you'll now see that there is this box to enter a custom name. So that you can call it Living Room PE or something along those lines, hit save, and then back in Spotify, this is the name that you will now see inside of the device list. 
If you want to add a second speaker to Spotify, simply add a new plugin, same as before, select a different speaker, and that's it. That's how you can cast music straight from the Spotify app to your voice PE or any other media player inside of Home Assistant, and this is a really huge addition. Now, there's two other important features of Music Assistant that I want to show you before we go. The first one being groups, so grouping players together so that you can control multiple speakers as one single unit. To do this, in the settings menu, click on the little players icon in the top right hand corner and then click on add player group. Most likely you will want to enable dynamic group members to allow the group to hold the queue and then give the group a name. And finally, select the players you want to group together and hit save. This group will now show up in the players menu under the group section. The other cool feature I want to show you is the new equalizer feature with the DSP. If you once again head over into settings and then the players icon, then select a player, you can change quite a lot about each player in this menu. So you can see under the audio section, you can now enable crossfade and volume normalization. And then under advanced, you can kind of fine tune both of those settings. But also under the audio section is this DSP button, which is going to allow us to tweak the equalizer settings. Hit the toggle to enable the DSP up at the top. And then on the input tab, you can adjust the input gain if you want to and then we can press add filter. We can then add a parametric equalizer. Once you do this, an EQ graph is going to appear on the page and basically you can come down and add a band which will place a little red dot on the graph and then you can set up the EQ as you like. You can adjust the filter type, adjust the frequency which will move the dot up and down the graph, the gain and then the Q factor. Then you can add more bands as you need and tweak the EQ settings to suit your needs. Interestingly, you can add another filter with another EQ or a tone filter, and it seems like there might be more filters that'll be available in here, given how the UI is laid out, which is really cool. Looking forward to seeing what those are. And then finally, you can hit output and adjust the output gain if you need to, and that is an EQ now applied to your speakers. And you can repeat this for each speaker that you want to modify the settings on. I think this is a super cool new feature that I know a lot of you audiophiles will really enjoy. That's about it for this setup guide of Music Assistant. It really has come a long way since it started and it is quite an integral part of Home Assistant now for those of you who want to integrate your audio setup into your smart home. And we kind of just scratched the surface of what you can do with audio in this video. There's a lot of really cool things you can actually do in Home Assistant now with automations and that type of thing. So if you enjoyed this video and you want me to cover more audio things, do leave your suggestions of what you want to see down in the comments and I will take them on board and we can hopefully make a video in the future about that type of thing. Other than that, thank you so much for watching this video. Please drop this video a like and get subscribed and I will see you in the next video.